us who would applaud Howard Cox for allowing us to maintain that particular necessity, not necessarily a luxury. And if he's part of, of that movement, that means we can drive our cars, then, then that, that's, that's good, isn't it, Howard? Well, there you saw it in action, the ad hominem attacks, emotion, throwing these stupid uh, accusations. So, yes, uh, just I'm just back up, Mr. Uh, no, no, well, just let me finish. I, I kept quiet. I kept quiet. I, I am indeed a director of Ultimate Limited, and it's, we've actually got a product. I'm not going to advertise it on here. I don't want to do that because that's not the point. But what it does is lower emissions, and you're telling me that I shouldn't be investing in something that lowers emissions, that shouldn't improve fuel efficiency and helps people. 37 million drivers in this country, and they all need to use diesel and petrol, except for a very small minority of electric vehicles, which I'm all for. But you just keen to go and attack people on this basis and ruin people's lives. That's your modus operandus. Rupert, would you be happy for us to see the end of cars tomorrow? With all respect, Mr Cox, it was you who started attacking people. I was very polite and you started attacking the good people, the good young people of Just Stop Oil. And you said very unpleasant things about them. So I merely revealed to your audience that they might be interested to know that you will personally profit from them not succeeding in their campaign aims which they are undertaking for the good of all of us. I think that's quite a reasonable thing. That let, me just, done. let me just ask you, Rupert, um, would you be happy for us all to stop driving our cars as of tomorrow? Because some of these eco-protesters would absolutely love to see that. Well, with all due respect, Bev, that is a really silly exaggeration. No one is saying that every single journey is going to stop tomorrow. What the protesters are asking for and I've got no um, dog in this fight. I'm not one of them. I'm not part of Just Stop Oil. But I just think it's important to understand them. What they're asking for is for the government to make some kind of meaningful commitment that it will move away that, from new oil project, projects. They're saying, why are we still drilling for oil now when we have more than enough to fry the world many times over? They're not saying stop all journeys tomorrow. What obviously there needs to be is some kind of plan to gradually reduce the amount of oil that is used until we get to a place where we actually have a stable environment, until we reach net zero. Until we reach net zero emissions, we are making this climate breakdown worse. Every single year, every single day, we are making it worse. And we're giving the most terrible poison chalice to our children and our grandchildren. It's a totally unacceptable thing to be doing. And it's totally reasonable to look to find ways by any means necessary that are nonviolent to stop that desperate, appalling future from being our future. Howard? Well, there we go again. Fry the world. Do you see the emotion? That's all they've got is emotion, scaring people. And I am going to attack those people yesterday that were uh, uh, smashing up uh, pumps and people getting around there. He's condoning that. He's condoning vandalism. He thinks that's a good thing. They do this under this guise no, of a thing I'm called saying, civil discipline. What I'm saying oh. is that we should try to understand why they're doing it. That's what I said very, very clearly. And you've made no effort whatsoever to understand why they're doing it. And that's very disappointing. <laughs> And if you didn't, if you should listen to my first bit of what I said. Let's sit around the table and work on getting cleaner fuel technology for the future. Let's debate it. Don't smash up people's lives and smash up property. Simple. You're, you just don't know any other way to do it. Uh, with all due respect, what Just the Poil are asking for is precisely to sit around a table with the government to talk about it with them. But so far, the government well, has made no let's response do it, let's whatsoever. Do it, let's do it. When I was part of Extinction I, Rebellion, I, excuse me, when I was part I've of Extinction Rebellion... I've got my diary, I've got my diary here, let's book a point. Come on. Talk with us. I, I would, listen, I would happily... Sit down and talk with us. If we do want to have... so at all recently. They've made no good faith declarations on this or anything. They are planning to have new oil fields in the North Sea. They're planning to, drill, to dig more coal out of the ground. This is Not enough to put a appalling way to behave. Well, well, there's a cost of living crisis. Have you noticed? So, yes, just, indeed, just... I have noticed, and that's why we ought to go green. As everybody knows, what we ought to be doing is insulating our cost houses, us more. putting up more.